pancreatic cancer population is a very hard to treat population despite recent advances overall treatment results are still suboptimal this is the perfect area to explore newer technologies newer delivery techniques and newer chemotherapy approaches and hopefully make an impact on the survival of these patients and we think one of the critical barriers for treating pancreas cancer is that it is in fact a very high pressure tumor pancreas cancer has a very dense stroma which is the framework within which the cells live inside the tumor it's so dense that the pressures become incredibly high the blood vessels are collapsed contributing to the high pressures in fact the center of some of these tumors can exceed 130 millimeters of mercury and so with conventional delivery technology the only source of pressure is actually the patient's heart and that will generate in a normal healthy adult 70 to 90 millimeters of mercury thereby leaving a very significant pressure gradient that needs to be overcome to get the drug into the tumor. And as a result, chemotherapy delivery is affected. We cannot achieve sufficient concentrations. This clinical trial at Roger Williams Medical Center is exploring an innovative way of delivering one of the most active chemotherapy drugs directly into the tumor bed. And this makes it unique. PEDD refers to pressure-enabled drug delivery, which is a drug delivery system which infuses chemotherapy into local tumor areas at a higher enough pressure to perfuse the whole tumor area. As such, it delivers the chemotherapy in adequate concentrations. We're interested in including pressure-enabled drug delivery for pancreas cancer because pancreas cancer is one of the deadliest tumors that we treat. Uh, the therapies that are available now, while there have been uh, therapies that have made tremendous progress, the overall success rate um, is still unacceptably low. We have reached a plateau with the standard three drug regimen. And in order to improve the patient outcomes, we are investigating whether this method of delivering the chemotherapy improves better tumor control within the pancreas itself. That will hopefully prevent secondary problems down the road for these patients while ensuring better control of the tumor and hopefully improving their survival. For the patients that we are exploring for this clinical trial, the standard option is to give chemotherapy, which is a combination of medications to try to shrink the cancer down and improve the survival outcomes of the patient. And what is novel about it is that while we are delivering high doses of chemotherapy, we are minimizing chemotherapy delivery to the rest of the body, and so we are decreasing the side effects. And so this combination of better delivery locally, but less side effects systemically, makes it hopefully a winning combination. All patients with advanced pancreatic carcinoma who are otherwise eligible to receive combination chemotherapy are eligible, provided they have maintained organ function and adequate laboratory study results. This trial does not involve a placebo arm. Every patient will receive chemotherapy. We traditionally use a three drug regimen in these patients. However, one of the most active drugs, oxaliplatin, will be infused into the pancreatic tumor to hopefully give a high concentration and get more tumor cell kill, and therefore hopefully improve our outcomes. And we think that um, doing this with a standard of care drug like oxaliplatin, which we're doing in our current study, is a very safe and rational way to test this as a proof of concept. Pressure-enabled drug delivery does not replace any of the chemotherapy drugs. What it does do is enable us to deliver one of the most active chemotherapy components directly into the pancreas and hopefully improve our results. And one of the other advantages is that we deliver much lower doses of the drug because we are infusing it directly into the tumor. As a result, we are hopefully improving delivery and decreasing side effects, but the three chemotherapy drugs are not being replaced. They are still being used. The remaining two chemotherapy drugs are being given systemically as would normally be done. Only one of the drugs is being given into the pancreas directly. After the initial two cycles of treatment on the trial, patients proceed with standard chemotherapy, with standard monitoring at regular intervals to see how their cancer is responding. 
will still need standard of care chemotherapy and radiation oncology. Our thoughts around that is that what we develop will hopefully complement and enable standard of care treatments that are currently being given to patients. Here at Roger Williams, we offer cancer care with a personalized touch. We have built a team of nurses who have been trained specifically in cancer immunotherapy, including the different treatment options and their associated side effects. Each of our clinical trials is equipped with a dedicated immunotherapy research nurse who is available 24-7 for any questions or concerns a patient may have. And we think at this time we've built a very strong infrastructure to do these trials and treat these patients. And I think we'll be able to grow and do this in the future for hopefully a very large number of individuals so that we can help them with these terrible diseases. I would recommend this clinical trial for patients with pancreatic cancer because it offers a new and innovative approach to treatment, which is limited for this patient population. It is an innovative and excitive way to treat these patients. And so I would definitely encourage patients to participate in this study. For more information about this clinical trial, please visit www.newpancancertrial.com or email me directly at alarkin at chartercare.org. Thank you.